In discussions on the Israel-Palestine conflict, vital facts are often overlooked, downplayed, or distorted, hindering a viable solution and perpetuating false assumptions, thereby prolonging the conflict. Let's examine key facts. Fact number one. In 1947, the UN Special Committee on Palestine, UNSCOP, proposed a two-state solution, recognizing the coexistence of two peoples in a territory under temporary British rule. The UN General Assembly endorsed the proposal, but the Arab world categorically rejected it, impeding a potential early resolution. Fact number two. Upon declaring independence in 1948, Israel extended a hand of friendship to its Arab neighbors, as evidenced by its founding documents. However, this offer was rebuffed, leading to a war declared by five Arab armies seeking Israel's destruction, a conflict Israel successfully withstood. Fact number three. Until 1967, the eastern part of Jerusalem and the entire West Bank were under Jordan's control. Despite the opportunity, the establishment of an independent Palestinian state did not materialize. Jordan annexed the territory, neglecting the prospect of Palestinian sovereignty. Fact number four. In 1967, threats from Egypt and Syria prompted the Six-Day War, resulting in Israel gaining control of territories. Israel, seeking peace, proposed a land-for-peace formula, but the Arab League's response in September 1967 was a resolute rejection of peace, recognition, and negotiations with Israel. Fact number five. Egyptian President Anwar Sadat's historic visit to Jerusalem in 1977 led to peace talks, culminating in Israel ceding the Sinai Peninsula for the promise of improved relations. Despite Sadat's assassination, the legacy of peace endured. Fact number six. The Oslo Accords of 1993 offered hope for Israeli-Palestinian peace. However, suspicions arose when PLO Chairman Yasser Arafat later indicated that the agreement was a temporary truce until final victory. Fact number seven. In 1994, King Hussein of Jordan reached an agreement with Israel, showcasing Israel's commitment to peace and territorial compromises when sincere leaders emerge. Fact number eight. In 2000 to 2001, Prime Minister Barak's groundbreaking two-state proposal, including a compromise on Jerusalem, was rejected by Arafat, triggering violence. Fact number nine, in 2008, Prime Minister Olmert extended a generous two-state proposal, yet received no formal response from Mahmoud Abbas, squandering another opportunity for peace. Fact number 10, in 2010, Prime Minister Netanyahu's 10-month settlement freeze, aimed at restarting negotiations, went unanswered as Palestinians continued strategies that hindered direct talks. It is imperative to draw conclusions from these missed opportunities and address the consistent refusal from one side. Is there possible for peace between Israel and Palestine? Write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content from World's List. Make sure to also hit the notification bell to never miss an update. See you in the next videos.